is your first alert five weather with Sam Schreier. Good afternoon, everyone. We have worked our way out of the AM and we're 15 minutes into the PM. 67 degrees. It's absolutely beautiful in Colorado Springs. We do have a good chunk of wind coming on through at the moment. It's kind of out of the south, but that wind will switch back to the north and northwest. It's actually kind of coming away from the mountains. So that's where it's going to get to us. We have a little cloud cover over top. It's much sunnier in Pueblo. We've got blue skies giving us only a couple degrees more warm too. It's in the 60s in the springs. Pueblo's in the 70s, but Pueblo, we were a little cooler this morning. So that's always part of the deal. Tree pollens are continuing to be the highest. The only big change was that the grass pollens came up a little bit. Everything is kind of on the low end from grass to weeds to mold. But hey, at least, uh, you know, we're getting closer to summer. Pollens tend to go down a little bit after the spring, so we'll do what we can. As you take a look at the satellite radar, there is a lot of blue sky out across the region. There's a pretty big system that was actually going through Nebraska, Omaha this morning. Now that's giving Missouri quite a bit of storm action ahead of a warm front. But Colorado, just a little bit of shower and snow action over the mountains west of Denver. We're nice and dry here in southern Colorado, and we're on track to stay that way through the course of the day. Now some of the mountain wind is very strong and it's actually coming off of like the collegiates basically back over towards Buena Vista, over towards Salida, Chafee County, and then running through Park County as well. So we've got some good stuff out west that's going into Teller County, Canyon City, and Salida. The wind gusts are going to continue to be quite strong. This is a future cast model from now through two o'clock. We'll continue to see 30 to maybe up to 40 mile per hour wind gusts kind of coming in and around the mountains towards Fremont Teller County Springs Pueblo in the next two to three hours. Here's three to four o'clock. Our wind speeds will be gusting in between about 20 to 35 miles per hour. Not as much wind through the afternoon in the plains. This is going to be more of a mountain system. Part of that's tied into the jet stream pattern as we go back towards the end of the day. Swing down in a secondary cold front. This is going to help cool us down a little bit tonight, but it's going to give Trinidad and Los Angeles County a little bit more breeze right towards the end of the day. Then this evening as we get out to 8 o'clock, the wind is still gusting, but it starts to taper off just a little bit. Now, over the next seven days, there's not a whole lot to talk about here rain wise. We're really just quite dry over the next seven days. We're windy today. A secondary cool front this afternoon or this evening, depending on where you are, pushes us down another couple degrees for tomorrow. And then as we head over to Thursday, we're going to warm up into the upper 70s. So those of you who like that summer ish heat, this is a little closer and there's a chance of rain on Sunday, but it looked very weak to me. So I kept it in there with a little glimmer of hope. I can see why it's predicting that, but I just, I'm not super sold on it yet. Pueblo, we're going to be warmer near 80 today, a couple degrees cooler tomorrow, and then not too far off of 90 on Thursday. We're going into the mid 80s, back to a small thunderstorm chance on Sunday. Canyon City, we're going to be in the 70s over the next few days, into the lower 80s on Thursday. And then as we kind of work our way over towards Sunday, into the upper 60s, feeling pretty good with a chance of thunderstorms. Woodland Park, you almost might need to run the heat at night because we're going to be very chilly over the next seven nights. Daytime temps will be in the 60s, and then we go to a rain chance on Sunday. 